Envato Elements added a tool for editing photos with AI. It can remove backgrounds and change things in the image. Let's see how to use it. This is part of the Envato Elements subscription, so you can use it without extra cost. The subscription is $16 a month, and you get access to everything that Envato Elements offers, like photos, videos, music, templates, add-ons, and other AI tools. You have the affiliate link in the description to try it. Now let's see how to use it. First, log in to Envato Elements. On the left side of the menu, you have the AI tool menu. Click it and find the AI edit. You can start editing the image from here by uploading your own image, or you can use the generated image tool. If you go to the photo stock of Envato Elements, where you can get human-made images, you can hover over each photo and you'll see the new magic band to send the image to the editing tool. Let's take one image from here. At the top of the image, you can see its size in pixels, so you can check if it grows or shrinks. Next, you have the option to start a new edit or download. You should know that the tool doesn't save images, so if you like something during the editing process, you should download it immediately because you can't go back. On the left side, you have a menu for the tools. The first one is Remove Background. Let's see what it does with this image. After it finishes, you get two options to choose from. If you like it, you can keep it, but if it's not what you were looking for, you can cancel. This is a hard image for background removal, so let's get another image where the background is not part of the main subject. It works best when the image has a clear main focus, like a human or a specific object. The next tool is to upscale the image. Let's take a smaller image so we can upscale it. Click it and see in real time how fast it is. You can choose how much to upscale it. You can upscale it two or four times, but this specific image is big, so it limits the upscale to just two times. This is a good tool if you use AI and want to upscale an image because it's too small for your needs. You can see the different size as the numbers change at the top. Like the other tool, after it upscales, you need to click keep or cancel. The next tool is to expand the image. If you like the image but need it in different dimensions, you can use this tool. I tried the square option, and it took the main elements and squished them together. If I had to crop the image, I would have to get rid of some of the elements. I also tried to make it vertical, and you can see it did the same as for the square, but it also added some sand and sky at the top, so it makes sense. You can see that after I click Keep, the image is downscaled in size. So if you need it larger, you can now click Expand and make it larger again. Next, let's see the Replace tool. You need to mark on the image the part you want to change. You have different brush sizes. After that, you need to write to the AI what you want to change it to and click replace. You get four different images. The first time I tried, I changed the boat. I wanted to see something bigger, but only the last option had a bigger boat. It changes only the part you marked. So if you want something bigger, you might need to mark a bigger part of the image. The second time, I marked a bigger part and asked it to add an island. This time, it gave me the first image without a boat but it also didn't add the island. You can see that after it generates the images, you get different sizes. You can expand them to a bigger size afterward. Under the Replace tool, you have Erase. This is for deleting parts of the image you don't like. In this example, let's remove the floating lights. Like with Replace, you need to mark the part of the image you want to erase, and then add a description of what you want to erase. Then you get two options. You can see a small difference. One added something to the background, and the other is just empty. After that, you have Generate Similar. This is something you can also do with the AI image generator. Click it, and you need to describe what you want to change. I asked it to change it to a man's hand. I got six options. One of them is a woman, and one is an android. It also gave me two square images instead of a landscape image. Some options were similar and just changed the hand, and others changed the background or the computer. Overall, I think I got a few options that could work if I had to use this image for real. If you want to just crop the image, you can do it with the next tool. Click it, and you have options to crop in specific sizes. Then you can move it around until you get to the position you want to crop. Or you can click the freestyle option and change the size of the crop square and move it around until it crops the part you want. After that, you can upscale it again to make the image larger. If you found an image and you want it to become a video, you can click the last option, Generate a Video. Then you need to choose if you want it to be a vertical or horizontal video. Because video generation is limited to 15 per month, you can see how many credits you have left. Then click Generate, and it will make the image move. If you like an image and want to make it a video, but also want something in it that isn't there, you first need to use the Replace option to add what you want, and then make it a video. The video you generated will be in the Video History. Click the Video Gen tab, and you'll see the History option. There you can find the video. Who is this AI edit tool for? Well, I think it does its job. It's good for anyone using Envato Elements. I think it's a useful tool if you 
just need a quick fix for an image and don't want to open Photoshop or other design tools just to fix small things. It's very fast, and you get a few options for each tool, which is great. And you can always upscale the image if the AI made it smaller, so that's a big plus. It's free to use for Envato Elements users, and it's unlimited, unlike other tools like this. So I think it's really good they added it to help stand out from other AI tools or stock websites. Watch this video next, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.